Entering Scarra's atmosphere in 700 rails. Receiving landing clearance from Dalek City. Confirmed, we are assigned flight path RGM 79. Adjust course to RGM 79. I obey. Ship X-304 now entering Scaro atmosphere. Order Hoverbelt Squadron 4 to proceed to their coordinates immediately. I obey. Squadron 4 to escort duty immediately. Landing struts down and locked. Descent sequence engaged. That saucer is landed. Switching gravity compensators to equilibrium. Put the power plant into quiescent mode and unseal the space doors. The vessel is now at rest, Captain. Ship X-304 has now landed. Hoverbouts returning. Inform the Emperor. General Zeno will be with him shortly. I obey. I will proceed directly to the Central Laboratory, General. I need to pick up some special materials for my research, as well as supervising the transfer of our cargo to the ship. Very well, Eatrell. I do not know how long this audience with the Emperor will take. You may return before I do. Be careful when you meet the Emperor, Xenol. He has not summoned you halfway across the galaxy for the pleasure of your company. I used to have one of the big green ones, and all the handles fell off. Gorg, that black Dalek, that is Xenol, the commander of the first conquest army. General Xenol. The Emperor will receive you now. Your aides will remain here. By the Emperor's command, General Zeno of the First Conquest Army. Zeno, approach the throne. General, did you receive my instructions to establish outposts on Lavinian II? Yes, Emperor, I did. Then why did you ignore them and launch a full-scale invasion of the planet Slept 4? I considered the Celeptians a greater threat to Dalek expansions in that sector, more so than a race of barely sentient arboreal mollusks on a stinking swamp world like Lavinian II. What is the matter, Xenol? Afraid of getting mud on your fender? Be quiet, Burian. Xenol, that decision was not yours to make. 
Your orders were quite clear. The Selectians were organizing an alliance to challenge our advance in that area, and were also encouraging rebellion on worlds already conquered. I felt that exterminating the Selectians would discourage resistance and serve as an example of Dalek supremacy in that sector of the galaxy. I therefore committed the First Conquest Army to the task of laying waste to Select 4 and exterminating the Selectian race, every last man, woman and larval nymph. An admirable plan if it had been successful, but your invasion force has failed to conquer Select 4 and has suffered heavy losses. Such heavy losses that your own procreation labs were unable to replace them alone. As we speak, your chief science Dalek is collecting 800 dormant drone embryos from the Scaro Central Procreation Laboratory. We were defeated as much by our own nature as by the enemy. We were not out-thought, we were out-thought. Genetic programming produces excellent warriors, but they lack initiative. I need my soldiers to be able to think as well as they fight. Your soldiers, Zeno. They are my soldiers, even as you are. I do not require my soldiers to think. I require them to obey. I have heard reports of your criticism of our system, of your condemnation of the work of our genetic science Daleks. You forget that you too are one of their creations. You are a black Dalek, genetically programmed to lead and fight. Without that system, what would you be? Nothing. Basic enhancement is both necessary and desirable, but the science Daleks go too far. They are changing us fundamentally, tampering with our emotions, removing qualities vital to the survival of our species. The changes they make have been computed by the brain machine to optimize our long-term survival and bring about the destiny of the Daleks. What does a machine know of destiny? The machines were created to serve us, but you are making them our masters. Enough, Xenon, enough! I am your master. I am Emperor. You will obey me. You will obey. Obey! 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 I have made allowances for you, Xenon. You are a great warrior. But if you continue to challenge my authority, I will have to have you exterminated. Go now and do as you instructed. I... Obey. You should have exterminated him. Did you see his travel machine? Not a standard design, and not one that has ever been submitted to this council for approval. Xenol is dangerous. Dangerous, naturally. He is a black Dalek. You are bred to be dangerous. You simply dislike him because since I elevated you from black Dalek to supreme and transferred Zeno from the third army to the first army, he has won more victories with your former command than you ever did. You may be right though. Zeno is too independent. I will reclassify his DNA type as non-conforming. Gary, contact your agents within the first army. I want regular reports on Zeno's activities. I obey.